Well, hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to another edition of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. It's Hump Day and also National Chop Suey Day. Yes. Check out the plate. Do you know much about chop suey? You know, I don't know a whole lot about chop suey other than it's absolutely delicious. This right? is from our friends over at Hunan's restaurant. They were kind enough to provide lunch for us today. Uh, Bel Air Boulevard. And basically, chop suey means assorted pieces. So it can be chicken. Mm beef, shrimp, and it usually has vegetables. So we have bean sprouts, oh cabbage, and celery. Water chestnuts, too. It's American Chinese cuisine. You know what? My mom used to make this growing up, and she's Polish. It's very strange. I don't get it, but she makes the best chop suey. <laughs> She's other than the she's Hunan. Polish? How did she learn how to make chop suey? I think it was kind of, you know, like where she grew up in Chicago was a very um, diverse city, like um, subdivision. Yeah. So there were and lots so of different types of there food. There were lots of different types of food, and for whatever reason, it was it was a dish that she grew up eating. So figure that out. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, it is delicious. Um, thanks again to our friends at Hunan's restaurant. Now, a lot of people mm. have been making this adjustment, uh, the back to school adjustment this week. Your boys, mm. Connor and AJ, mm -hmm. what cuties. Oh, they have fresh haircuts too. Yes, they do. They have fresh haircuts. They were excited. And they've actually been waking up really happy and um, excited about school. They both love their teachers, so I'm excited about that. That's the good news. You never know which teacher you're going to get. What I know. Say? I'm kicking up those lunches, people. I took notes in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. All eating right. everything. Caviar and oh, yeah. who knows what else. <laughs> uh, also, Brandon's little niece, Alyssa, she just started eighth grade. Eighth grade. Down Adorable. in Friendswood. I mean, eighth grade, that was so long ago for most of us. I didn't look that cute in eighth grade. I, I know. Was Isn't she a cutie? Awkward. Well, congratulations, Alyssa, and congrats to all the other kids who are back in school. Alyssa, by the way, watches the show and records it every single day. Aww. So going back to school was... She felt like she was kind of breaking up with her friends over at Houston Life. Oh, not really. We're still together. Yeah, we're yeah, still together. Absolutely. Don't worry, even if you can't watch live. Okay, speaking of friends, we are super fans of Christina Wells yes. from America's Got Talent. You've seen her right here on Houston Life because, of course, she is a local Houstonian. And in case you missed last night's show, here's a clip. Get it, girl. She sang from her heart. I have she to tell sure you, did. she's amazing. I have chills from watching that performance. I think people in the audience did as well because she brought the house down. She did. So the fun continues tonight. Seven of the 12 acts that performed last night will continue on. You've got to tune in tonight at 7 yeah. p.m. right here on KPRC Channel 2 to see the results. Christina, if you're watching, we're wishing you all the best. I know you can do it. Absolutely, and her boys are so proud of her as well. Um, okay, so yesterday we posted a video of our dugout stare. You know, the Alex Bregman on the Astros, they do this, like, fun dugout stare. So we did one here on Houston Life, and little did I know that you had already done one. Well, I didn't even realize that this was a thing until uh, this video now has, like, 10,000 hits on Instagram. You can see me on the left side of your screen. Uh, a bunch of us on Southwest the other night flying back from LA, we did this. That is Scott McClellan, the president of HEB, and his wife, Soraya. We were seated next to each other. And yeah, this guy, this Astros fan, shot the video. He was kind enough to let us air it on the show today. Uh, but apparently, it is a thing. And of course, it's a huge thing. they're huge Astros fans. So it was fun to have a chat with Scott and his wife, and uh, great to have a whole plane participating. So I try know. to top that, folks. Absolutely, but <laughs> the a little smaller scale on our Houston Life page, you can see what we did yesterday. It was pretty funny. Look it for Erin. She's in there. I promise. Okay. So a month from now, uh, weather will start cooling down. Who knows? Hopefully before eventually. that. Eventually. <laughs> but a month from now, Houston is doing this really cool thing called Rooftop Cinema. It starts early October, and you can see on your screen there, it's located at Boulevard Place in Uptown. But they're going to be showing all kinds of Texas-themed films like Dirty Dancing, Reality Bites, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. That's a comedy, right? 
Oh, yeah, no. Hilarious. Hilarious. Hilarious Super film. funny. So um, funny. But the tickets went on sale about an hour ago, so try to get your hands on those. It'll be amazing. Rooftop, I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, I know. And just in time for the weather to cool down, nothing like being outside. Maybe some of the mosquitoes will have died by then, too. The state bird? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> The state bird of the mosquito. Yeah. Okay, folks, get out your smartphones, or if you're on a computer, go to clicktovote.com because we have some very interesting topics to talk about, and we really want you to weigh in because, especially on <laughs> a couple of these, Courtney and I are divided. diametrically opposed. We're totally divided. But first of all, let's talk about uh, some of these celebrities getting accessories that look a little bit like implants. So I know our graphic is sort of cutting off this photo, but take close note of Kim Kardashian's neck there. Okay, and what's going on here? That's one of the guys from the new Queer Eye on the right. Um, these, they're called skin implant accessories. And as you can see, it looks like, um, I don't know, scar tissue and what? extension. Why of your... are we doing this? What is happening? Well, so, so far, 100% of our voters, our viewers, are saying... What is the end result here? Like, what, what's the look we're going for with this? Why are, why are they doing that? I mean, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I mean, it's like an intestine around their neck. I, I know. I think it's just to get people to talk about it. We're clearly talking about it. They also offer well, some sort of why? footwear that looks like a high heel, or does it just look like scar tissue after a bad accident? This is look, disturbing. Look, it's like a snail shell. Why? What? I, so, what is this? So would you at home, would you at home actually rock this sort of look? No. Right now, I think most of our viewers, 87% I want to talk to the 13% no. that say yes. <laughs> I want to know. If you voted Why? yes, will you please call Courtney? You What's your cell phone number? Yeah. What's, I think I have it in my phone. Okay, really? let's move on. Okay. Clearly, it's, this is a little bit of a, a weird topic. Okay, let's talk about our bed sheets at home. There's a debate going on right now about top sheets. Do you use them? Do you not use them? Courtney, go. Yes, here's the thing. I love a good top sheet. I think it's necessary. Why is it necessary? My kids don't use them. Why is it necessary? This is what's happening here. Please answer my question. The duvet. Why is it necessary? Thin blanket. This is your bed? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I get lost in there. What no, is you all wouldn't. that? No, you wouldn't. What is all top that? Top sheet. Is that's, <laughs> that's team over, top sheet. That's overwhelming. Thank you. It's not overwhelming. Yes. It's perfect. Okay. That's why you buy those high, like, thread count. Courtney, please it's like a cocoon. answer my question. Why do you, you said it's necessary. Why? Why is it necessary? Do you ever buy a, sh a sheet set? <laughs> It's part of the set. Could you please answer my question? I Why love is the it. top sheet I necessary? I like to not have the duvet and the blanket. Oh my gosh. Okay, the poll is now closed. 71% of you say yes, yeah. you still use it every night. I think top sheets are like underwear, a waste of laundry. Why do you need them? What are you saying? <laughs> that was a joke. What? Don't pa I, everyone in our studio, What's like a couple of people just fainted. Here. Pick Brian up off around. the floor there. <laughs> I, yes, I'm wearing it right now. Um, but listen, if you go to Europe and you check into a hotel... I don't want to talk about your underwear anywhere. You... How often do you wash there, your sheets? There are no top sheets. There is just a duvet. And what's nice about it, you can slip listen, into the bed. Listen, this is America. This is not Europe. You don't get tangled in the sheets. Don't you wake up ever tangled in the sheets? Never. Oh, my gosh. Millennials okay. are lazy, and that's why they don't use top sheet. But you are tech... According to the article, scientific study, you are not a millennial, are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you a millennial? So what you're saying is younger, more efficient people don't use top sheets. Because they don't wash them. I think that's what you mean to say. <laughs> they don't wash them. We wash our sheets at home probably... Oh, do I have to answer this honestly? No, we, we, we wash them probably once a week. What does probably mean? No, we wash, because like, let's say you take a weekend trip and you don't have a chance to maybe do laundry. We do our own laundry at home. Well, yeah, I, mean, I don't have a laundry fairy. Well, I, but some people don't do their own laundry. I do like probably once Every couple once a week. of weeks, 45%. This is an every week thing, people. Wait, how often do you wash every your sheets? Every week. Every week. Every yeah. week. But, standing day but you every know when week. you check into a hotel and some people are like oh i have to have my sheets washed every night no you don't no you don't because you're not doing that you're at not home. doing that at home and clearly it's bad for the environment to do I that i love you i love our debates They're once so a fun. week once a week once a week but i have to say in my younger years oh okay I if we're gonna gone, go down and dirty yeah younger years forget it a bit longer throw them out the sheets started smelling like 
<laughs> chop suey after a while. How about your towels? How often do you change out those I mean. towels? Okay, well, the towels get washed more frequently than that. Every three days, switch them out. Every three days? Oh, yeah, three days. Very specific. Yes. I think we should start doing more of these polls asking about how often people clean stuff. Uh, okay, uh, do you even know where we are? I'm totally confused. Yeah, let's okay. talk about our Summer Chills giveaway. Guys, you know we yes. love giveaways here oh, at Houston Life. We give Summer away Chills, some good stuff. We do give away trips, tickets, theater. Well, today's giveaway is tickets. We're giving away tickets to see Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap at the Alley Theater. Two lucky winners. Each will receive one pair of tickets to the show. You have to hurry up, though. The contest ends tomorrow. The winner is going to be contacted by email. If you would like to enter, just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. It's very easy, folks. Just click on the contest tab, and you can follow the instructions. And even little Tex is excited about I that. I know. Look at his little LaCroix bottle. I, I love it. Okay, in the meantime...